Welcome to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. In this video, we'll talk about movers and how do you set up custom movers. In USPSA and IPSC and a lot of shooting sports, there are movers, right, of all kinds. You have a mover that comes sliding down from left to right or right to left, and you have movers that go across the stage or even movers come, that come charging at you and going away from you. And in order to create those, I built a system where you can specify a start position and an end position and attach targets to those props. So let's take a look at where you find them. If you go over to your moving prop section, you see they have this thing called start and end. Mover start, mover end. And what I can do is, let's say, if I design a quick stage here, and let's put a wall here let's clone this and put a wall here and then what i want to do is i want to have a mover that goes from back there that goes across to this wall so that when a when a shooter shoots from here they will have to shoot the targets as it goes across the two walls so what i'll do is i'll go over to let's say stage markers drop a shooting box and say okay shooter has to shoot from here right and then i want to set uh, a maybe a collection of two targets that goes from here to here so let's go over to moving props and drop a start position. So let's say if I want to start here, right? And I want to end here like that. And then what you need to do is you need to link up the start position to the end position. So you go to activation and click on start and then drag it over to end. So that establishes a link uh, and the start marker will move following this line towards the end marker. Okay, so then let's drop some targets here. Let's uh, let's go over to USPSA. Let's say I drop, let's, let's say I drop two short targets, right? I drop one target here like this, clone this and put it side by side. So something like that, right? And then what I need to do is I need to group this uh, two targets to the start position. So I'll go with the grouping, I select the start and I click on this target, click on that target and right click. So now you see this group so if I go over here and highlight the start, you see all both the targets are highlighted, right? Okay, so then now you need to activate this. So how do you activate it? You probably drop a popper in the middle here somewhere. Um, let's say you drop a popper out here. And then I need to link this to activate the mover, right? So if go to activation, click on the steel, click on the start position. Now that basically links the activation. So now you're done. So what do you do is now I stand on this box. I head over to simulation mode, F10. And now when I shoot this popper, uh, I missed one, as you can see. So that's how it works. And so what's really interesting is you can move this end position any way you want. Let's say I move the end position over there. And now if I go to simulation mode and I hit and I do that, it will move across like that. Right. So it's up, up to you how you want to do this. You can also, let's drop a platform here. Let's type a search platform let's do this right and i'm going to move this start position up here like that uh, let's move this wall over here a bit so now if i go to simulation mode and hit that you see that the target will come down like that so it's very easy for you to customize how you want this to uh to work you can you can make the, the targets go side by side, up, down, from down to up. You can make it go away from you. You can go make it come towards you um, in any way you want. And obviously you can link multiple movers, right? So if I do this, I clone this start position over here, right? And then uh, I'll clone the end over with this, this side. And then I go to activation and I link this start to this end. And then that popper will activate this mover as well. And now you can imagine what will happen, right? The moment you hit the popper, these two targets will come down. These two targets will go from right to left. Go back to simulation mode, shoot this. There you go. I can't shoot today. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so there you go. So a lot of flexibility here for you to customize how you want to do movers. And I think this is a very, very powerful feature. You can link anything you want to this. Uh, even, let's, let's take a look at a more uh, crazy scenario. Let's say I just go with the miscellaneous here and oh no hang on uh let's go with the props yeah let's drag a a bike right <laughs> you can do this i mean it's 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 totally nonsensical but nobody's going to do this i'm just going to group this to the bike as well and so now if i go with the simulation mode the bike moves yay fantastic anyway so have fun with this you can link whatever props you want to 
the mover and that will move everything as a group and you can specify where you want to move. So I hope you like this very extensible and powerful feature in practicing designer. <laughs>